Hi, I hope everybody's doing well tonight and I'm here with Donna and I'm going to have a couple of my favorite people who used to come all the time before the COVID lockdowns and that's my good friends Kathy and Sue and I want to tell you that when I found out they are both going to be enjoying the class and I got very excited even though we're not together physically it just feels good to know that we're together through this video it's amazing technology right and so i just want to mention a couple things in the beginning remember my website is judyfarmer.com right now i'm in the process of getting my licensure for a functional nutrition practitioner what that is is helping people to really learn how their bodies work and get a really good foundation so they know what's going on in there and they can get their journey going in a direction that's going to bring them lasting health. No gimmicks, no quick fixes, right? We want lasting health and we want to have the best route for us as individuals. So that's what I'm going to be certified in in April of 2022. So that's exciting. The other thing is I'm doing another keto course. Three week keto intensive course begins in August. Go to judyfarmer.com. You can sign up there or you can just see when it is and see what it's about. All that stuff is right there. All right, without further ado, I just want to welcome you guys. And in the Pilates class, we're always staying in a state of we are thankful for our bodies. Sure, we recognize imbalances sometimes, right? Or little aches and pains or this or that going on. But we learn our bodies. We stay on our journey. We stay positive going forward. I can tell you the people that come to my classes that are negative on their bodies, that are putting themselves down or comparing themselves with me, they don't come back. You have to love yourself right now, right, Donna? Yes, you do. Love yourself now and then. Just the way you are. Just the way you are, with no exceptions, just the way you are. I love my feet, even though they're weird. <laughs> anyway, so we all have our thing. So let's get going. So, since I haven't seen my dear Kathy for a while, I'm going to think about my Kathy and her body. I'm going to do some things that are going to generally help your body. So first thing we want to do is go ahead and sit up, Donna. We're going to think inside the spine and we're going to really hardcore bend into the vertebra of the spine. Okay, Sue and Donna and Kathy and whoever else is joining me. So as we sit up really tall, remember this one, shoulders down, lift through the sternum. There is a rod, imaginary rod, coming from your tail right up through the crown. Let's see how tall you can sit here. <sighs> Propping a mirror up in front of you. Now Donna has one, that's good. Now we're going to breathe, inhale, fill up your chest. Fill up your belly too, that's okay. Exhale completely. So what I'm learning is how the lymphatic system is very much initiated and stimulated by breath. You pump it through. It doesn't work from your heart. There's nothing pumping it. You have to move. So breath and Pilates, get the lymph, get the lymph, get the fluids going. So we're going to do more of that. When we begin, we always take our big inhale and we sit tall. Lift the arms up in front of you, shoulders down. Now we're only going to tuck that tail. Isolated movement. Very good, Donna. We're tucking. Now we're going to sit back up. Let's do a couple more of those, Sue. Exhale, tuck and lift it back up. Bending down into lumbar vertebra two. Pick it back up. One more. And tuck and straighten it back up. Now we're going to come down deeper into the mid back. Inhale. Powerful pelvic tuck. Push into the middle of the back. Come forward with your C curve. Stack your vertebra, very mechanical here. And then we tuck again, do that one again, come down, halfway, inhale, come forward, exhale, get to your sit bones and roll up through that spine, lift through the crown of the head. Now we're gonna come down and see how deep you can go today, Kathy. Inhale, tuck, exhale, make a C curve, go a little deeper, Donna, see where your limit is, breathe in, come forward on the blow. Forward, get to your sit bones, stack up. So you're really thinking powerfully into the back. Good, down uh, way out with the chest, chin up, inhale. All the way down now, tuck. Come down slow, try to make yourself go slow. I know you might thump, that's okay. Then place your head down. All right, I'm gonna scoot up a little bit. Let's get comfortable on our mats. Good, we're gonna do some upright curls. 
Reminder is to kind of lift that head up. Take a breath. Tuck the chin. Keep your chin tucked with your head on the mat. Then blow and lift at the same time. Two, three, four. Slowly rest on down. We're warming up. One more or two more. Inhale. Tuck the chin. Keep your head on the mat. Now blow and lift. Two, three, four. Really pushing the ribs down on that lift, guys. Inhale. Tuck the chin. Come up. Two, three, four. Now lower down. Now we're going to come up and do the pulses. Donna, you're going to bring one knee at a time into the chest. Legs up. Soon, Kathy, if you want to do it that way, you can. But keep your lumbar on the mat. I'm going to show modified version. Okay, inhale. Tuck the chin. Curl up and pulse. Remember this one? Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six. Inhale. So you're really... Pushing down right below the ribs as you exhale. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Two more sets. Exhale, crunch and crunch and crunch and crunch. Good, and one. And exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Lower down, that'll get you going. Rotate the head back and forth. How was it, Donna? Good. A little challenging for you. I hope, I hope it was. She's really going forward, this woman. All right, next one we're going to do is, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. We activated the top of the tummy. Now we're really going to activate the low belly and low back. One knee at a time into the chest. You guys will remember this one. I'm going to do the modified version. You can do straight legs if you want. We're going to do the hip ups. Here we go. And lift and lower. Ooh, beautiful, Donna. She's taking it all the way over. And then all the way down. If you're joining me for the first time and you can't get those hips off the mat, that's okay. Blow on this. You might just do that today. That's okay. You're activating a lot of muscles. The same ones that you're doing using if you do this one. Okay? You want to exhale when we come forward. Feeling it, Kathy? I hope so. Gee, I miss you so much. Boy, so now we've activated the low belly. Keep the knees up, pull them into the chest. Now we're going to pick that head up and do the single leg kicks. Chin down, lift the head, hold your hands under your knees, Donna, and really pull that tummy down. Good. Remember, we're going to keep that chin tucked. Look at the thighs. Don't lift your head and look up. One leg up. Here we go. Pull and pull. Switch. Reach and reach. Now we're activating the entire abdominal corset. Reach and reach. Now notice how I'm not looking up. I'm keeping my ribs down. I'm keeping my tummy deep. Every other pull and pull. One more pull and pull. Great job. Now let's rock up and get ready to roll like a ball. So I know Sue and Kathy can do that really quick. I've seen you do it for many years. So that's why I just went right into it. Let's get ready to rock and roll. Keep your hands on your shins. Make yourself as small as you can. Remember, Kathy, don't lift that chin. Not one inch. Keep looking down. Here we go. Fall and blow. Balance. Shoulders down. Fall. So we're always thinking about better form, better form, better form. All the time, right? So many hundreds of times you guys have done this one with me. So for me, I have to modify it because of my back. But as you get more advanced, you can make yourself really small. Like my friend Nana is doing. She's working on making herself smaller and smaller. Rolling like a ball. All right, let's pause at the top then. Great job. Let's come on to our sides. See how we do with putting some weight into the shoulder today. I'm going to show the modified version. Donna, if you want to straighten out both legs and come up here, you're coming up on the side. Remember this one? But we can also bring that bottom leg forward, which I'm going to do in case you're not feeling up for a full plank today. Remember this one? We're turning on the shoulder girdle. I can't tell you how good this one is for keeping your shoulders strong. As we get older, you guys, we got to keep all of those muscles awake and activate them. Exhale forward. Three more. Beautiful, Donna. Two, three. And exhale. Two. 
and let's do one and good let's create a nice sequence here on one side and then we'll flip the pancake okay laying down we're gonna do our modified angel remember this one from flip it zone inhale exhale lift two and three and four rest you got it exhale lift now make yourself tall and your chest forward and your chin up good let's do six more for eight two and three and four great job donna really pull your arm toward your ankle and down and four more two and three and four remember to lift those legs way up two and three and four two more you can do an inhale and up two three four and rest last one then and up your neck hurts don't lift it up then i don't want you to strain yourself you guys all right next one we're going to put our head in our hands find our pike position and do some stuff our classic pilates engaging both legs keep those hips set put your hand right there and we're going to start with the circles the big circles we're not allowing remember my friend came in and she helped you to improve on this one because I was teaching it incorrectly. We must keep the hip exactly stable while we make those big, slow circles as wide as we can. One more set. We're going in one direction and down and we're reaching way back and coming forward. Great. Now we're going to point up and flex down. Same thing. The hip is stable. Point up. Flex and push. Remember this one, rolling those ankles. Remember, Kathy, when we do that, we did that video, Pilates for your feet, with your pretty feet. I still get a lot of comments on that one. People love that video. You guys watch it. It's in my library, Pilates for the feet. Good. Now we're kicking, you guys. Hold, tap, tap, and reach. Oh, boy, my leg's already feeling it. And reach. Notice how my leg isn't lifting up behind me. You're not moving your shoulder, you guys. Remember, keeping your shoulders really still. Repeat this one, Kathy. I want to know that you're getting younger as we go. Growing younger. Yes, we're grandma, so what? <laughs> we're growing younger. Good enough. Now we're going to change it up. We're going to bring the knees up. And we're going to work into the hip. And this whole area is strengthening it. So take the top leg forward, flex your foot, and do little kicks. Kick, 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 kick. So you're kicking that way. Oh, you got an achy hip there, a little crampy. It happens. Just rub it out and get back into it when you can. Let's do 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, good. Six, five, and four, three, and two, and woohoo! Rest that leg down. You feeling it in the hip? I hope so. Point your toe, put your hand in front. We're going to raise the leg. Now notice how high my leg is. It's way up. It's coming right across my chest. I'm watching my video here. Woo! Feel that weight in the hip. Three, making yourself stronger and younger. Exhale down. Three more. Three. Inhale in two. Oh boy, and one. All right, let's flex that foot, lay down. We're gonna do our rotation out. This one is great. We're gonna hold your leg, the top leg straight, okay? It's with that bottom hand. Then we're gonna reach up in the sky and turn and open. Remember, open like a book? This is even better because you're really getting the T-band, piriformis hip, hip area stuck as well. Turning away, looking at your hand, moving your arm around. Stretching the front of the chest and the front of the shoulder. Feels good. We just don't want to get all tied up in there, right? We don't want to get that hunched forward, tight chested look. We want to stay tall. We want to look up at the sky when we're walking, not at the sidewalk. Let's do a couple of breaths like I heard Donna. Moving that lift, right? Telling the body to relax and stretch. Turn your hand across, bend both knees, and now we're going to do a little more. We're going to do our open and close with the, with the knees. Hold your hips stable, open and close. 
Good, very flexible, Donna. She's really lifting that leg high. Open and close, open and close. Let's do a couple more of these. And then remember, we're gonna keep it open. Open it up, hand in front, we're gonna lift and down. Now when you first start doing this one, you tend to bring the legs forward and down. But over time, you get a little more stronger in your obliques. And you feel that crunch right up below that rib cage. Crunch it, feel it? So you're lifting weight into the side of the body. You don't need barbells, right? You're lifting weight right in there. Wow, that was a very nice set, you guys. Come on up. Before we flip, one of my good friends, Stephanie, who's a regular Pilates, she has beautiful form. She's been watching some of the old Marty Windsor Pilates, which is my first intro to Pilates back in the 80s. And I want to teach you how to do the saw the way we did it on the video, which I should have remembered. Let's sit tall, remember? If your back is hunched or you're a little tight in the legs, bend your knees, okay? Otherwise, make sure you can sit right up on those sit bones like Donna, she's doing great with that. We are going to reach out, reach out, and bring the shoulders down, just like old times. <laughs> now we're gonna twist, pick a side, keep both feet flexed, and we're gonna pulse here. One, and two, and three. Look up to the side, inhale, middle, twist. Now, with this one, we pulse three times. That's the Murray Windsor way, I like it. And middle, and twist. Flex your feet, and, and half on. Make it count, twist. Exhale, one, and two, and three, and one more beautiful set. Keep your chest out, inhale, twist. Exhale, one, and two, and three. Lift, and middle, one more side, down a twist, then reach, pull, 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 and up, and center. So what does that do? It does a lot, it really does a lot for strengthening the upper body, really moving it. It stre stretches the muscles across the side of the back, which I relax, right? It stretches your legs a lot. A lot of people feel like a lot of pulling in here when they first started. So you're really kind of integrating a lot of benefit to the body on that one. Let's go into the other side now. Make sure you're not repeating the same side. So I'm going to go here this time. <laughs> I had to think, where was I? All right, what we begin with is our nice oblique curls. And then we're going to do some work in the shoulder. Palm on the thigh, breathe in, and lift. Two and three, four. Rest and up. Two and three and four. Inhale, exhale. This reminds me of when we met at the Fit Sound Sue. And lower. Let's do four more. Really lift. Reach for the heel. So, yes, Donna, bring your arm down a little bit lower. Exhale, feel the crunch. We're working our obliques today in two very special exercises. Two. Two more, two and three and four, and lower and up, two and three and good, and down we go. Now we're gonna try to work into the shoulder. Now you decide how you wanna do it. Some people have issue with one or the other shoulder, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't be keeping at least our good shoulder strong, okay? So coming on the forearm, I'm gonna do the modified version. If you're strong enough, reach both legs out, Okay, otherwise, put that knee there, but you want to feel weight in the shoulder. Let's do it. Turning on the shoulder and raising it up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And four. Lift. Going slow is good, right? Exhale. Three. Lift. Stay right up on that arm. No something, right? Lift. And last one, great job, Donna. And lift, taking a break. We're not doing any more on that. I, I was gonna do the hip up and down, but we didn't do it on the other side. So let's come down then. Put your head in your hand and get yourself into your pike position, right? Bending at the hips, keeping your hips stable. Start with the big circles. Remember you guys, before I had my hip replacement, I couldn't even do this one. A miracle has happened, right? I believe that it could happen, and it happened. My hip and my arthritis is gone. Of course, I have aches and pains. Everybody does, but 
I don't have arthritis anymore. Isn't that fantastic? I hope miracles are still happening in your health too. Everyone. One more big reach back, big reach forward. We pause here. We lift. Then we flex and push that heel away. Really flex hard. Moving through that beautiful ankle, pushing away, flexing, stretching. Three. Such a simple movement. Focus and create weight. And one, and then we're going to hold and do the little taps forward. Here we go. And tap, tap, three. Careful. Don't let that hip go. Tap, tap, three. So stable. I can just picture you guys watching me really going for the stability here. And three, three, and back. Exhale, and two, and two, and back. Feel your glutes. One, and one. And back. Great job. Now we're going to take both knees up. We're going to work into the hip. And then we're going to work into the obliques. Here we go. Straighten her out. Flex her and tap. Tap. Let's just do a bunch of these. Feel it. Just that little pull. That's okay. I'm sure you're warmed up. It's pretty warm in Michigan this time of year. Good morning. Just after the holidays. I hope your holidays were great. Fourth of July appreciating our country, even though it's going through some big hiccups lately. All right, those look good. Point your toe, okay? And we lift. Oh boy, that's heavy, and carry it down. Are you crimping, my dear? I am indeed. Gotta keep an eye on my Donna. She is such a good, she's become such a good friend. And such a wonderful person to work out with. Exhale, achy down slow. Let's do two more. Inhale, reach it up. Carry the weight down slow. And one, and lift. And carry the weight down slow. All right, we are going to open and close at the knees. Keep your hips from opening up, okay? We lift and down. Good, so do a bunch of these. Really crank it up there, okay? Trying to move those muscles in the hip joint. Move down. Remember when you're walking, you want to flow and figure eight and bring the hip forward when you bring the knee uh, when you bring the leg forward in your stride don't become a robot it will hurt your back it will hurt your hips good Woo, i'm feeling it let's hold that open now we're going to lift weight into the obliques here we go and lift and down crunch see how many you can do lift down good job donna and down and down. Good. You don't have to go at my pace. Just see how many you can do. Maybe the next time you use the video, you'll be able to get more in there. Keep it going. Lift and down. Lift. Oh boy, that fan. I wish it was pointing at me. Lift and whew. Wow, this really woke everything up. I hope it did for you. Let's take the top leg. Flex your foot. Lie down. All the way down on your mat. And hold your leg, if you can reach it, hold it up this way. Take your arm up. Inhale. Breathe out as you open up. And so we're turning away from the leg. We're turning away. We're keeping our foot flexed. We're keeping our leg lifted. We're breathing completely in and out. And we feel the link through the front of that shoulder. Bring your arm up and down a little bit. Feel those cobwebs strip away from your, from inside. They're not really cobwebs. They're myofascial. They're fascia. So we get our myofascial release when we do these stretches, right? We've had that talk lots of times, Sue. Oh, yes, indeed. Long breaths out. Great. Bring that arm back over. Bend your knee. And now we're going to come up onto our hands and knees. And with these guys, we're really going to stabilize. I know you can do these. They're always, always good for arms, for back, for everything. Now remember, when you lengthen out your leg and straighten it out, you don't lift your hip up. Don't do this. Keep your hips stable. You should see you do it, Donna. You've got which one of those legs. Perfect. Now the opposite arm, looking down at your hand. And we circle, remember? Two, three, breathe up. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change direction. Very methodical. And we're very focused on each piece of this movement. Moving the body perfectly. Breathing out completely. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Hand and knee down. You guys know what to do. And we lengthen out through the left leg. I'm talking to Sue and Kathy. We reach out through the right arm. We circle 10, 9, 8. Notice how my hip is moving. Not my knee. Not my ankle. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Change it up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Great job, Donna. 7, 8, 9, 10. Hand and knee down. Let's have a shell stretch, ladies. Let's bring our knees apart. Lie forward. Lengthen out. Gentlemen can do this too, but it's mostly ladies. So I'm going to address the ladies. Lengthening out. Putting your forehead down. Let that back relax. How are you doing? You're feeling good. We're about half done. You're doing great. We're giving you, I'm going to give you a full class tonight, you guys. Release everything first. Now we're rolling up the way we do. Remember, tuck your chin. Roll it up. Stacking your vertebra. Bravo. Now we're going to come all the way down. Stretching out the tummy. Lifting weight into the back. Remember, take those legs straight as you can. Point your toes. Okay? I'll wait for you to get right in position comfortably. We're going to do six lifts. Stretching the belly and pulling it in. Keep the chin tucked. Inhale. Up we go. Two, three, four. Roll with control. This is not a push up, right? You're trying to use your back to stretch that belly and bend it up. Lower. Four more. Exhale. Two, three, four. And lower you go. Except you are using your arms a bit, huh? Exhale. Up. Two, three, four. Keep your glutes tight. Stretch your tummy again. Two, three, four. Lower. One more inhale. And up. Two, three, four. Come on down. All right. Let's really pull those shoulders together and open the chest, you guys. Sue, generally, when I, when I was working out with you, Sue, you were always open through the chest. But it's a little different with Kathy. I want you to really keep that upper back nice and strong. Take your hands in the small, right? We're just coming up and pulling for six. Inhale, exhale, just pull. Feels good, doesn't it? Three, four, elbows out. This one's good for you too, Donna. Up. Remember, we're looking down at the boring mat, which my new mat is really pretty. Lower, exhale up. I'm using a cloth, a tapestry under, because I, I sweat on the mat. I don't like that. Elbows out, inhale. Three more. Two, two, feel it. Three, four. Beautiful form, Donna. Inhale. Two, three, four. Rest. One more. Two, three, four. And rest. All right, we're going to do our dart. These are super strengthening. Do it with me. Palms on the thighs. Take a breath in. Exhale, lift. Engage the back. We're slowly coming forward with the arms, Donna. Remember this one? Oh boy, it's a strengthener. Push the shoulders down. Reaching your arms forward like Superwoman. Breathe in and push it out. Feet up or down? Or feet up? Yeah, they around. can be up. They can be up. Yeah. Dart far from yoga, your feet are up. They're not touching the mat. Good question. Coming forward. Two more. Because I ask you to keep your feet on the floor when we do our diamond lift, which we're going to do next. You just gave me the idea. <laughs> I wasn't planning on it, but I think it'd be really good to compare the two. Let's do one more. Slow, strong, feeling it. Good. Good, 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 you guys. Reach. And down it goes. And <laughs> great. Great job, you guys. All right, let's put forehead on your hands. And keep your little feet touching the floor on this one, remember? Ready, Donna? 
He said yes, right? Yes. <laughs> Up we go. Exit. Two and three and four and lower. Two, three, four. Last and lift. Two, three, four. Three more. Good ones. Two, three, four. Two. Stay strong. Two, three, four. One more and up. Two, three, four. And relax. And congratulations. You are having right now having a congratulatory shell stretch. <laughs> Remember how we spread our knees apart for these sometimes? Let's try that one. And lay forward on that. Let your head come all the way down if you can. If you can't really come down on those knee joints, then just lift yourself up and come down a little bit that way. Okay? Whatever feels comfortable for you. Let go through the face, head and neck as well. Let's do a breath together, just a comfortable way for you, no specific way. Just fill your chest and belly and then release it all completely. Very important to let those muscles lengthen. Great, rolling up on with that. The way that we do. One more good set, and that's going to be sitting forward. We're going to do our spine stretch forward first. Remember, good old spine stretch forward. Always starting with that super duper straight back, left feet. If you're a little bit rounded, you can't straight, you can't get that back up, do this. Because your back's apart. Remember, inhale, arms in a hula hoop shape. Exhale, bring the crown of the head forward and grow it forward. Good. Feel it grow forward. Oh, I just thought of one that I want to do for you, Sue. You did it before, and I remember you thought you felt good to you. So we're going to do it tonight. Roll up and stack. We're doing two more of those. Exhale, forward. Pull it. Goody, goody, goody. Bounce if you like. Stack it up. One more. Inhale. Exhale, forward. Pulse and pulse and pulse. Great. Very important to stretch the spine. We also do stretch the hamstrings as well. Let's come all the way down and see how you do with a bent knee roll up today. Okay. Maybe if you haven't done these Pilates things in a while, it might be a little rusty. Do the video again and see if it got a little better in a couple of days. Take the arms back. Take a breath. Nod your head and up. Up, 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 and reach. Slowly come down the way that we did in the beginning. Inhale. Up, 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 and beautiful, Donna. You should see her form. She is just just great these days. She's been coming. How long have you been coming, Donna? Oh, geez, up and out a year, a year and a half. Probably about a year pretty consistently, and then yeah. you were coming a little while a few years ago. Yeah. Which I barely remembered you. It's kind of funny if you're not now. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, those were good. How'd you do? I hope you did well. I hope you enjoyed it. We're not done yet, though, because I really want us to do my, uh, the one that Susie likes. And yeah, that's this one. I don't know if you guys, how you feel about this, but I'm going to do it on an angle so you can really see. So the legs are apart. The fingers are in front. We're just going to walk forward. Ooh, I'm really tight. I went for a run last night. Woo, feels good. Now we're just hanging forward. I want you to hang out here and feel the tops of your thighs relaxing into this. Just hanging out here for a stretch, right? Now we're going to crawl our little finger guys, our little fiddler crab, over toward the right leg and hang out on it. Good. So your hands are forward, the crown of your head is forward. You're letting that opposite leg relax, relax, complete breath. I wonder if you remember this one, Sue. I remember when you said, oh, that was good. I like that one. All right, ladies, let's come across with our little fiddler crab guy all the way across to the other thigh. And we're laid forward on the other thigh. So you're actually turning in your lumbar on this one, too. You're stretching through the top of that right leg. Feel it. Relax here. Stretching through the lats, side of the back. We want to keep ourselves flexible, ladies. Strong. Feeling good, enjoying life. 
enjoying every moment, getting plenty of rest and plenty of exercise and minimizing the sitting part, right? <laughs> Come forward. That's a hard thing to do, isn't it? Roll up out of it. All right, ladies, let's finish up then with our nice oblique stretch and twist. Remember this one? We're going to take the top arm up, get in the mermaid sit. We're going to stretch over. Stretch, stretch, stretch. First, we're going to do a couple of sets where we lean the other way, and then we're going to add the twist. Inhale, lift, and switch. Exhale, tip. See, we don't go very far here. Keep your chest forward. Keep your head up. Beautiful, Donna. Good. I'm bouncing into a little bit. See, stretching your obliques. And back. Now we're going to come over again, and we're going to rotate that beautiful spine in a powerful rotation. Wrist, elbow, turn down that shoulder and rotate through your back. Stay and relax. And now is the time of the class where we absolutely appreciate our bodies, our lives, all our ups and downs. We, we let go, we let bygones be bygones. Right? You can do that every day. And we love our family. Right? We just love them. We just accept them. I know it's a little bit hard to do, but it's a wonderful exercise. Great job. Come on up then. Oh, we're coming around. How'd you like my little sermon for the day? I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Tough jobs, I know. <laughs> Arms coming over. And we enjoy it. Feel it great. Stay and breathe. Remember I always say put that bottom rib forward a little bit. Ooh. All right, let's hit the other side. Lift, inhale, switch. Exhale, tip. Ooh, I'm feeling that today. Of course, we did have class this morning. Go to judyfarmer.com and see my current schedule. The only COVID precaution we have now is no touch. So we just come in. We don't touch anything, we just go to our mat, and then when we leave, we just don't go to the bathroom, we grab our stuff and we go. It's kind of how we're doing it from now on, okay? And let's do one more big old twist, tip it over unless further directions are needed. Reach it out first, twist the wrist forward, elbow forward, shoulder forward, turn, 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 and turn, and turn. Oh yes, feels good. Feel that spine rotate. Keeping your spine flexible is key. All right, let's sit up then. And you know, with all the cool stuff that I am learning in my, my functional nutrition courses, I don't know if you've ever heard about functional medicine. It's like that, but it's the nutritionist for that. So it's like the same kind of way of looking at patients. And one of the things I'm learning about right now is the autoimmune immunities, all the way that that works. And there are so many ways that we can keep the chronic inflammation down in our bodies. And when you're over 50, that is very important, okay? What we want to do is stay away from sugar, right? Stay away from anything that promotes inflammation, any things that you know you're sensitive to, any food sensitivities. We're always somewhere on our journey. For example, I used to think, oh yeah, I'm fine with dairy because I was raised on a dairy farm. But you know, now that I'm learning more and more, I realize I'm not so fine with dairy. Dairy is not the best thing for me. And that's part of the reason that I crave it. See what I mean? So maybe there's something like that in your life. Of course we know that sugar's not good for us, but we crave it. Because, but that's because our biome is craving it, right? Of course it's a primal craving from, you know, just the way we're made. But if you have sugar, bread, stuff like that, cookies, then you will keep craving it. Once you get off of that stuff, there's so much freedom. I know you guys know what I mean. So if you want to talk to me about that, I am taking practice clients right now. Right now it's 2021, July. By the time you watch this video, I'll be in practice. So right now is the time to get in free and learn what you can about your body. And I'm just eager to help you confidentially. And so go to judyfarmer.com. You can shoot me an email or leave a message at the bottom of this. And Donna and I wish you the best in health. And God bless our country.
Want to say bye? Bye-bye. Donna said bye to you.